Congratulations to the IE team on passing the ASA 2 test. Um, I can completely agree with how you guys released the information on the IE blog by waiting until you had an internal build. Obviously, you're not going to be saying, hey, let's push an alpha on the public. That doesn't make sense because obviously you guys are intending to do a lot of work. You have a lot of work, but it's, it, it's great what you guys are doing, and I, I agree with that. Again, like when you came out with that tab feature, Opera copied it. Um, again, with op, I mean, not bashing Opera. I'm just saying, you know, for example, Opera came up with that press, um, the legal challenge or whatever uh, they're pu trying to push uh, in Europe, and saying, hey, um, IE needs to be more standards compliant. I mean, that was like what two, three weeks ago, maybe. I don't know exactly when, but you guys have obviously been working on the ASA two uh, aspect of NRX four eight alone for several months. So um, I don't th think that like some people will post have posted that obviously this is a post because of what Opera said, but because of that you uh, achieved it on your own merits. So um, you know Opera's great, Earn Explorer's you know going to be great. You know you guys are getting there. Um, um, so anyway, uh, I hope um, because that's the two. It's not irrelevant, but it's not um, it's not everything, and I hope it will reflect the overall improvements in other areas of CSS, especially um, for form elements like input, select, radio buttons, whatnot. Um, and oh, a quick issue on Internet Explorer Seven: when you go to the site options on my site and you manually click on the select menu within the label, it triggers the um, pop-up blocker. And this is on the the image and the stem the standalone. Uh, I know you guys are like, don't use standalone, but it works. I haven't seen any differences, so. But anyway, um, so I really would like to see added support for CSS3, even if it's proprietary. We're, I'm good with proprietary. I mean, if that's how you guys have to add things that there are bugs for and holes in the standards, and you'll support it later on when those issues are fixed. Great. I mean. We can add that stuff, three conditional comments, and boom, our style sheet will still pass validation. Whatever, fine. Um, because you guys have come out with great stuff that has been proprietary. Uh, Ajax, anyone? Okay. Um, you guys set, you know, put that object out there, and it was built upon by the community. So you guys can make unique co contributions. So, um, you know. It, it's retarded to knock Microsoft just because you guys are Microsoft. I mean, you guys do do great some great things. Can have disagreements, okay? But we're not gonna, you know, the hostility needs to like you know, simmer down. Obviously, it has, thankfully. Um, anyway, big issue: triggering IE standards mode. Um, I'm trying to make this as quick and dirty as I can. Uh, IE6 HTML4, uh, IE7 XHTML transitional. I eight XHTML stripped one point zero. Um, I nine XHTML one point one. Do you see where I'm going with this? Um, and uh, I really hope that you guys add application XHTML plus XML because HTML five, which doesn't even know what it is, because uh, it just says, "Hey, I'm HTML and the last version of HTML that will ever exist," because that's what it's implying. Um, and there's uh, so many disagreements with with uh, things like heref, um attribute on all elements. Yeah, let's just like like have every element on the website just linked to something, because you know that's not going to get abused. No, uh, but we do need a legitimate block element that can ha be. Um, I think anchor should be allowed to en en encompass within a, a specification block elements. Uh, to add keyboard complete keyboard accessibility without the need for JavaScript, that is one thing, one benefit that is an HTML5 that would validate, I think. But anyway, so what I would say is give us HTML5, some of the HTML5 um, features like ping on the anchor, but allow us to implement it because obviously it's not it's not done. So we might have a standards mode for CSS. But we could have a quirks mode with proprietary implementation because it would be 
in its own right a quirks mode implementation for say ping but we could have it validate um, by adding it in the XML aspect of you know modifying our doc type and XML and all that um, so we'd say we'd have X XML 1.0 strict would trigger IE8's standards mode we'd have the application XML plus XML support that a lot of people have been clamoring for including myself um, and then you guys could um, let's say you do decide to make massive changes to the standards mode in IE9 and that you really you know you, you've caught up completely and now you're surpassing other uh, browsers um, you know I'm all for you guys improving the browser I understand the um, the not just the rock and hard place um, position Chris Wilson's in but the rock and hard place Homer Simpson style <laughs> position Chris is in um, hopefully this will be um, a, a useful suggestion. My, I had another idea. It was like CSS comments for triggering it, but it doesn't really seem... It, eh, it might be a valid recommendation, but eh. Um, so, I mean, you could technically say, let's say um, you, have ex, you have the 1.0 strict and 1.1. You could trigger both 1.0 strict and 1.1, and then I, and IE9 would specifically require 1.1 to trigger its standards mode, and you could reserve 1.0 strict and IE9 to trigger the IE8 version um, standards mode. So anyway, that's my recommendation. Add some, H, X, um, some HTML5 features like ping, support it in the quirks mode aspect through uh, proprietary if you can't figure a uh, standards way to implement it fine that's great some support is better than none add some CSS3 property support I don't know what you guys do with selectors um, someone mentioned we have before and after it would be great to have um, last um, uh, support whatever it is in CSS3 CSS3 selectors are great but property support if you go to my website you click on the site options and you enable CSS3 in Safari which has, you know, this whole best browser argument is, is stupid. It depends on what you're talking about. Safari kicks slightly more butt than Gecko on its CSS3 support because of properties. If you turn it on, you'll see you can resize the latest news. Um, there's the border shadow. It has rounded corners. It does have the multiple column layout, but then it adds support for a uh, border on there. So, I mean, you know, Firefox is second best on CS3 support, and Opera is lagging behind, so whatever, okay. Uh, I gotta keep this short because YouTube is evil with not allowing me to post all the stuff I want to say, which is fine because, you know, whatever. Um, so, uh, again, congrats. Um, hopefully we'll see um, as great of an improvement for other aspects of CSS as we have with ACID2. Um, and you know when you guys are ready to post please take all the time you need um, to really squash as, as many bugs as you can um, and you know I think you guys are approaching this pretty much the best way you can because I understand the web I mean the w some people post oh the web has drastically improved it, 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 some like independent people like me yes um, MySpace no it's gotten worse uh, I hate my space. Um, and oh, biggest favor in the world: designers deal with client side, developers deal with server side. Stop reference; it's not interchangeable. Okay, um, and it, everyone's an offender on this one. Not just you guys. People posting on the blog, other people at other browser, you know, who work on the browsers. As a designer, I am a professional web designer. I am an uh, entry-level web developer. Okay, web developers deal with ASP and PHP and Cold Fusion and all those server-side languages. Then you have, you know, your servers. You, you have your server admins. Then you have your web designers. You have your graphic designers. Graphic designers don't know web design. They know Flash and blah blah blah. Okay, um, so I would be offended to say if someone called me a graphic designer. I'm a web designer. I deal with browser-specific issues. So please stop using the term interchangeably. 
it is about black and white, on and off, true and false as it can get. So uh, I know it's a minor technicality, but it means the world when you say when you reference the people <laughs> like that. Anyway, um, so congrats. Keep up the hard work, and um, hopefully the hostility will remain <laughs> at its lowered level on the blog. Take care, guys, and happy holidays.